G'day YouTube, how about everyone here, and welcome back to the Realm server. Today we're going to be working on the um, mob sorter. I've been watching the video that I'm using for this, which I will post in the link. Uh, link for it in the description. Um, I've got a little bit of work done on it already. The, one of the main things I had to do was, uh, I sort of got a bit of paper and I had a bit of a draw session. And it worked out where things were going to be and how they would fit. And I actually had to move the mob elevator from this side all the way to the other side because I figured if I had it here it's going to come underneath and then up again which sort of seemed pointless so I've moved the whole thing not quite finished uh, but I collected all the signs and everything from that side and moved it all over here so if I can get down and have a look without failing I reckon I would not make that jump so I'll just go over here there we go a look. Uh, you know what? Down here would be better. Here, zombies. The um, water cutoff for this. Oh no! Oh, thank you, Feather Falling. Is uh, not perfect by any means. Wow. Okay. It's such an efficient mob sorter that even when it's turned off, they still spawn. And I haven't quite got the water currents in there set up properly, so they're yeah, all getting jammed in there. Not too low. Here's the old side here, which has been cut off there, which was coming up to here. And if we come into here, all the way to the top. Once again, I try to zoom. Don't have zoom activated right now. Um, get out of here. So I, I just gathered all the resources from that side, destroyed all the water blocks by uh, placing cobble and then breaking it. Why are they not going under? Oh yeah, that's that's fine. We better start the episode with a bit of a derp. Back in the box. Back in the hole. Mistake here. That's right. It's a minor derp. Nothing too serious. Uh, let's put a cap back on this. Cap, cap, cap. Does that force them under nicely or do they get jammed? Well, that's part of things otherwise. I'm not particularly good with these water streams. I'm sure there's a better way that has a bit of overlap. Uh, I have to have a bit of play around with that. Then this side's not finished though. All I've made over here is pretty much a mob wash pit to get this guy over there helmet. <laughs> oh man, I really want to capture him. He's holding a block so he shouldn't be spawned. I um, should better come back later and see if I can we can move the name tag and get him out of there because he looks hilarious. Uh, so I've got a lot of the signs. How close can we get the signs installed? Haven't quite finished down the bottom here. The guy with the bone looks like he's holding a wrench. It's hilarious. Do I work as zombies? Alright, let's get back up. Thank you once again for feather falling. So, um, I've also got to put a bit of a front on it. You can actually see the signs sticking out there. Hey, wait a minute. Well, there's the problem. It's not turned off. That's going to make things interesting. As I was saying, I haven't capped off the front of it yet on some of the parts. Um, but I wanted to get some of the top bit laid out. So I've got something to show you guys. Come back over here. Let me have a look. I should be able to... Just... Let's see. Holds it once. You're kidding me, right? Really? And then unpulse it. Hey, hey, no, 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 come on. Really? So that's off now. And that's not triggering this, I don't think. Unless I completely stuff something up. That is still active. You can see that there's not full of water. There's just a one pulse of water. And there goes off again. Alright, so... Let me think. If I activate that, that should pulse it, turn it on. And I should leave it on. Okay, that's fine. Next time I log out, 
All those guys should despawn except for um, those ones holding items. Even if that goes through, they won't change it. Alright, good. I'm learning redstone as I go. I've got people like Ether and I go, how does he do it? And I remember him talking about it and he says he just watches other people and uh, gets on with it. Now, I made a couple of signs here which uh, is good for reminding me. We've got um, the blocks that I'll be using, nether brick, red glass, white glass and red clay. Uh, a couple of people suggested when you're doing builds, concentrate on just three different block types. Uh, that, I know that is four, uh, but I think they work well together. The red ones are only for special spots like uh, there, which is actually where the mobs will be sorted into. You should be able to sort them into creepers, skeletons, zombies, and witches, I believe, if we get witches. Uh, slimes and spiders, I'm going to have to work out and probably get them done separately. Uh, across that bridge when I get there. Um, others, we need some fences and some salt sand, not too hard. The difficult things are going to be, I'm going to need one cat, one dog, and one villager. Uh, the cats are used to sort out the creepers, the dogs are used to sort out the skeletons. Now, as of, I believe, 1.8, uh, skeletons are now scared of dogs. There may be an earlier version, I'm not sure, and the uh, villagers to help sort out the zombies. There's a couple of other tricks that are used in the sorter, like um, zombies, I think, don't fit too well underneath half slabs. So I've started laying out some of this. This uh Vader will go up a few more blocks, let me think. This is technically what's classed in the video has the bottom layer, but I've had it continue on there. So it's gonna be about another two about another two more layers, so that layer two, layer three, and the mobs go up to the top of the third layer, and then they start getting sorted from there. So um before I get started, I want to take a trip through the nether to go and get some um, resources to make this run a bit smoothly. Uh, using red clay, like I said, so I'm going to take a trip to the mesa biome, and I'm using the red glass and the red clay, so I'll need some uh, rose red from the flower biome. So we're going to go do that. Hopefully I don't have any more derps today. Uh, I don't think that's enough for now. <laughs> I get a feeling that's left on. You know, you get that feeling you leave home and like, did I leave that light turned on? Oops. Nothing but bats. Alright, not a problem. Alright, so I'll um, go to the nether and we'll join back there. Alright, we're going to click the buff here at the uh, nether tree, show you a bit of the progress, or lack of progress, I should say. I did finally decide that. Uh, spruce, which is always one of my all-time favorite woods anyway, yeah. is going to be the final wood used for the tree. Um, I'm going to try it with some sort of combination of alternating with the different colors of uh, dark stained clay. Dark stained clay. Yeah, brown stained clay. What is this specifically? Um, gray, brown, and black. Yeah. I swear to God, every time I try and chop something, there's so many pigments, they try and jump straight in front of your axe. Like, you, you hit me. No, I didn't. On purpose, so I thought this might be a faster way to get rid of the tree. I'm gonna set out a light in a few places, burn it myself, and see how long it takes to burn. I managed to get the um, Optifine latest version working with 1.8.1, which is what Realms is now on. Put the fire up there. Oops, I'm going to end up down here. Alright, up and up. Pretty fast enough for my liking. Alright, I'll just stand here and do a time lapse. And then you remember that uh, fire spread is actually turned off. Good one. Two. No, uh, rule. Two. Fire tick. True. Everyone's been updated. Alright. I'm sitting here for a good minute going, hmm, fire doesn't seem to be spreading, wood's not burning, what's going on? Ah, uh, I'm a derp. That's what's going on. There, yep. Alright, now let's try and do this.
from above. I was not expecting a gas while I was trying to film that. We should have expected it. What was my luck? We can pick up and see what the progress is. No need for exciting recording anyway. I'm running low on food, but I think I brought some steak. Excellent. And looks like everything's going to sort of burn now. Ah, dear. And as you saw, I also didn't have enough arrows. We didn't have any arrows. And we have a hole here, but it's fine. Alright, so, looks like most of it's going to be burnt now. Okay, well that was not fun at all. As you can see from the footage at the top left, that tree took a long time to burn. Not fun at all. Unless I buy in this way. So I've decided to continue on from um, what I was originally here to do, getting sidetracked with the tree there. We need to get some uh, red clay, hardened red clay, uh, from the mesa biome, and then we need to stop off to the fly flower biome and get some um, red roses from there. We might actually get some full red roses so we can just easily bone meal those to get extra um, red dye as much as we need. Alright, let's see. Um, red stained clay, this one should be. Hardened clay. Stained, hardened clay. Goodness me, get it right. Uh, pick. Doing everything wrong today. It's been one of those days, you know. Sometimes in real life, you have one of those days where everything just wears you down. And then you go play Minecraft and you just do it on everything. We get some of this and we should be able to colour this other stuff as well. So we're just going to get a good supply. And uh, then we'll head over to the flower biome. Alright, I'm back. I'm at the flower biome. I've already been through and got what I need. I grabbed myself um, two rose bushes. That should be enough and some poppies. Because what I can do is, once these are planted, is you just hit them with bone meal and they will drop uh, more rose red. So that's all I need for my glass. Unless... So I always forget, is there... That makes light grey. I need... Is there a flower that makes white? Or do you still have to use bone meal for that? I'm not 100% sure. I think it is only bone meal. And a creeper, apparently, too. Ha! Ah, sword. Love it. Alright, so uh, while I was here, I also beautified the other side of the nether portal. It took me a bit to remember. I have to actually get Bandy's um, help here to remind me which way to go. Loading, loading, loading. Whoa! 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 Hey, 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 hey. Wow. Ooh. Probably could have survived that drop, maybe not, I don't know. You get off. He certainly did not. I don't have the gym set up yet. Dang it. Okay. That is how you stay awake in Minecraft. You get attacked by baby zombies coming through portals over lava. I'm gonna head back and I'll meet you back at the mob sorter. Okay, we're back and as I was approaching the mob sorter I found a um very unusual sound was occurring in my headset. And first I thought it was some sort of bad connection. I'm going to come around here and see if you can hear it too. Can you hear that? It's sort of a crackling noise. If I get closer, it's the sound of many, many feet. Oh my god, what a sound that makes. If I press F3 and we look up there, let me see, where it's on the fourth line, E, which is entities. Where I'm looking at the moment, there are 923 of a thousand entities. That means there's about 922, 24 chickens in there. Um, it's still set to breed me, that's why. It should be set to feed me. If it's set to breed me, I keep dropping eggs at the top. Um, let's see, it's not full. It's okay. I'm trying to think the best way to fix this without breaking it and letting nearly a thousand chickens out. Um, dear me. Um, oops, that could have been bad. I think they're trying to escape. Put that back for a second. Oops, now they are escaping. Oh no, what have I done? Chicken stampede. No, 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 no. No, no, get back in there. No, 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 no. No, no. 
Ah uh, no, oh my god, no, back. Back, 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 back. That was a mistake, I should have broken one block higher. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I'm asking to take this. No, 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 no. Quick, quick, quick. Rock it off. Ah, not steak. Anything but steak. No! Oh, no. no. Oh my god, we're gonna have chickens all over the island. This is horrible. This is horrible. Bambi, I blame you for this. Ah! Uh, sweet mother of KFC. I don't kill. Oh my god, look how many down on the ground there. Oh my god. Bambi, you need to install the kill switch for this. This is crazy. No. No. Block it off. I can't block it off. I need like gravel or sand or something. So I don't pick them. Dang it. Get the experience all about my face. There we go. I can't. No, it's like. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any there. There is. Anything I need that'll help here. Nope, I don't even have a bucket of lava or anything. This was poorly thought out, like most of the things that happened to me today. Ah, oh dear. Big fat capital nope. Let's see if we can contain the situation. Oh no, we can't. Look at that. It's, oh my god. Chickens everywhere. Out the way. These chickens care not for my problems. Get, get. Oh, get back. That side of the wall. That side. Get over there. I can't even kill them with lava because there's so much wood around here. I don't think I come over this fence. No. No. Bad chickens. Get, get. Shoo. 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 Get out of here. Get. Get. Out. Ha. Ah. My god. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, god. They're still all flying out. Alright, let's, um... Let's see what I can do. Let's go and dump some stuff off in this random chest here. I think this chest is truly just for random stuff. Um, all my clay, all my stuff, everything. Um, we got over here that might help any good. Have the iron even over here. Ah, it's a bucket. Okay, let's see if we borrow some lava. This is Talus' base. I haven't even had a chance to show this off yet. So I'm trying, gonna try and not spoil it. So try not to burn down everything here. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. I put all my building blocks away, didn't I? Yep. Okay, another great fail. Ay ay ay. Okay, this is grab one from here. Alright. Of course we've now activated fire spread. Oh my god, really? This lava is going to do some damage. Oh my god. And there's still more in there. Let's try. Oh god. Let's try this. Alright, that didn't even move. That, that, that tick is dying, I think. I'm down to 5 FPS here. Okay, so let's spread. Take it off. That should hopefully... 
Ooh, part of my noise chair. Hopefully cut out, kill off a lot of them. Oh man, that's down to two FPS. I could be dead now and I wouldn't even know it. I'm going to try to eat some food. <sighs> that road doesn't spread too far. Does that happen with the problem at all? 209. No, sorry, that's the wrong one. We got 570. We've got many over there too. It was because I didn't bring any box with me, I can't do anything. Wow. 9 FPS, 11 FPS. So the cover's a little bit over here, I'm just recording much higher than that, but this will do for now. Alright, let's see what we can do. According to this, though, I didn't actually pick up that lava source block, which was not ideal. Be careful, I don't want them escaping. But also don't want to fall into lava. I don't think I would be able to handle the um the lag and lava and everything else. So if you come up here and uh, let's break this bit of glass then. That's the bit of glass I should have broken originally. Put this in there. As you can see it spread right. Scream of Hundred chickens dying all at once. Completely horrible. <sighs> so many still alive. There's actually chickens in the wiring as well, I think. Yep. Oh man. I see one hiding in the wall there. Hmm, I see a bit of chance of freedom and they're off. Okay. I think we're mostly recovered now, but there are still some chickens roaming free. I have to deal with them later. Break down the wall. Get rid of all the evidence. <laughs> Speaking of evidence, and a random sheep who managed to escape. Not the moot, a sheep. Ah oh, man. Right. Feed me chicken. There's a lever missing from here. Hmm. I mean, it should be on feed me eggs, which is why we're getting eggs in the bottom here, I'm guessing. Talk of lava button is also missing. Well, I might need to get Bambi to come have a look at this. It's the original creator. Let's have a look. This wiring goes up here. Uh, maybe because the things didn't enter the dropper first. So if we take these out and put these in the dropper, it should activate a redstone clock. There it goes. Now it's. There we go. Simple redstone can power the clock. This rain, not making things any better. Although the rain may be preventing the wood from burning, so I probably shouldn't curse it too much. And just everything there. Okay, let's have a quick look. That looks good. Chickens in there where they're supposed to be. I'm going to set this to feed me instead of breed me for now. Top of the water back on so to kill them when they turn to grown ups. I keep looking for the sort button. That's not in Minecraft. Okay. 
And yep, that's the cleanup done, I think. Got a bit of extra raw chicken, cooked chicken. Even got some raw mutton, extra feathers out of all that. So, you know, looking at the bright side, it's not a complete waste. And we did manage to technically fix the overpopulation of the problem. So, take that back out, I'll take that. And we're yeah, good to go. We'll get back to work.